Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thai business visas and work permits. Kind of discussing this in the context of all the different kind of spectrum of possibilities. So, you know, they've been discussing this LTR, long-term residence visa, so-called, even though as we've discussed in many other videos, it really doesn't confer residence at all. It's, it's just kind of a long stay visa. We've also been discussing things like the, the quote unquote smart visa, and then just sort of standard Thai business visas and work permits. We've had a lot of people contacting us asking, you know, what's the best way to go, this and that. Well, it depends on what you want to do. A lot of it has a great deal of what, what you want to do here in Thailand. A lot of it has a great deal to do with what kind of business you're looking to run in Thailand. So kind of standard businesses that really aren't being overly promoted by the present sort of Board of Investment or the EEC, the Eastern Economic Corridor. You know, like somebody wants to come to Thailand and set up a just a small restaurant, which is pretty frequent. A lot of, a lot of foreigners like to set up restaurants here in Thailand because quite fr and quite frankly, there's especially down in Pattaya and even Hua Hin, there's a lot of great foreign food down there because you've got people that, you know, train their cooks to cook the way that their mom cooked from back home kind of thing. And and you know, these kind of setups can be you know, very good for a foreign national, but they're not really all that all that promoted, if you will, by the sort of the business promotion schemes that are out there here in the Kingdom of Thailand. And so, again, if you're just looking at the broad spectrum, it's going to depend on what you're going to do, like what type of business visa, what type of work authorization. If you're a digital nomad, if you're getting the software business here in Thailand, you you know, you may have different options or even more options than somebody who, again, is looking to set up an SME that does something that, you know, I, I hesitate to call it sort of old business or something, but just, you know, traditional kind of small businesses, you know, again, a restaurant or something like this, a bar and grill, you know, kind of set up, you know, yeah, Thailand has been dealing with those for years and they're not really, you know, the BOI is not looking to promote those kind of businesses. So there aren't any like special business visas or anything akin to the LTR for that kind of thing. There's no smart visa for that you're probably gonna be dealing with just sort of a standard business visa. But again, depending on what you're looking to do here in Thailand, the LTR may apply to you, the smart visa may apply to you. Uh, you may have even more options. Again, it really will depend, you know, they, they, there's Petroleum Act, the Industrial Estate Authority is out there. You know, there's different things that may apply depending on your circumstances. So for those who are looking to get a business visa and or a work permit or some derivation thereof, some sort of visa with authorization to work in Thailand, may not be a terrible idea to contact a legal professional, gain some insight and guidance into how best to proceed.